All right, everybody, welcome. Come on in. Take a seat. Strap in. Grab your popcorn. Grab your frosty beverage. Grab your sweet tart ropes. Today, I'm going to tell you about memes. You know, when did memes start? What does meme mean? How do you identify one out in the wild savanna? What makes a meme funny? That's objective, but all of this and more is going to come to you by a qualified living meme legend. That's right. Uh, I have a YouTube channel, and one time I wrote a paper about loss, so I'm permitted. He's, he's permitted. I'm permitted. Okay. <laughs> that is the face of a man who shit in a traffic cone. Let's start with the term meme. The term meme was coined by this guy named Richard Dawkins in his 1976 book, The Selfish Gene. Uh, the word originally comes from meme, or meme for short. He's in, boys! He did it! He said it! It combines the word mimesis and meme. Dawkins defined the term as a complicated idea that spread through imitation and repetition. So to describe what he meant about this meme term that he came up with, he used the idea of monotheism as an example of meme. Basically, an idea, a set of ideas, duplicated, repeated throughout many different people, slightly changed every time somebody talked about it. And you know what? It, it kind of makes sense that he used monotheism as an example because he's one of the biggest atheists of all time. Oh, by the way, Richard Dawkins knows that the internet stole his term, his little meme term, and uh, he doesn't like it. He hates the internet. He hates those damn, those damn kids using their, their images and whatnot to... <laughs> so, now that we know where the term meme came from, what is a meme? So let's just pretend for a second that you have either been living under a rock for the past 20 years and you don't know what the internet is, or you are a boomer. So you don't know what a meme can be. So what can a meme be? Pretty much anything, really. The first widely accepted meme that was spread throughout the world is known as a little thing called Kilroy was here. This started in World War I, where those those funny Aussies and those New Zealanders and those Brits would scrawl them all over the walls like a, like madmen. But at the time, his name was Fu, so it, it would say Fu was here. And then in World War II, his <laughs> his name became Mr. Chad. So along with this little Mr. Chad fella, he he got captions in World War II, like it was a funny funny Garfield strip. So images are pretty much the most common type of meme. They usually come with captions, things like that. You can have deep fried images, you can have some cursed images, you can have some blessed images, you can have some blurst images. Essentially, the root of all memes on the internet came from images. Now text is a special case, because back in the day, on the internet, that's all you really had was text. But these large text chains of infamous messages sent on the interwebs have become more and more popular over the years. Sometimes these messages are from pop culture, like TV shows and movies. Sometimes it's just random ramblings of insane people. Videos and GIFs usually take a bit more effort depending on what they are and how they're made. Short form video content has soared in popularity ever since the rise of Vine back in 2014. So now on the internet, most video memes are short and sweet. So you got your, your TikToks, your old Vines. Sometimes video editors will edit together some like short form video memes as long as they have ample amounts of patience. Sometimes songs take off on the internet due to their use in memes, usually video memes. And these notes and these melodies get burned into the ears of the masses. In fact, here are some examples. So, 
What makes a meme funny? There are usually three major keys in a meme that makes them funny. The first, recognizability. Since memes can come in pretty much any variety and from anywhere, it's easier to spread a meme if people can recognize it right away. That's why there's so many like Marvel memes and SpongeBob memes and memes of like popular video games and TV shows. Because people recognize these things right away. The second, relatability. Oh wow! That is relatable! So for a meme to spread as an idea, the idea itself has to encapsulate something that most people believe in. Therefore, if people relate with your feelings, they're most likely going to find your meme funny. And then third, which is usually pretty varied and pretty subjective, the type of humor. Memes usually fall onto like a, like a spectrum of sorts. You got your edgy memes, you got your normal, run-of-the-mill, whatever office humor. You just got some weird shit. In conclusion, uh, humor on the internet can be quite different from humor in real life. Whether that be 20 years ago, 10 years ago, even 5 years ago, humor has changed drastically. Information has changed the way it distributes itself, and memes have kind of rode out this wave with it. And there's no telling where they'll go, but you can be sure that they're going to be around for a long time.